Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this session, we are going to see how we can use or how we can implement store procedure with ADA.NET in our ASP.NET Core 7.0 Web API. In our previous session, we see how to implement simple ADA.NET crowd operation directly using the SQL statement inside our application. If you missed that session, I will give that link on i button as well as in the video description. Please check it out. And I strongly recommend please check it out on previous session so that you can know how I configure and how I did connection to my database. Guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification so that you will not miss my future videos. And if you ended up liking my videos, give me a like so that YouTube will understand you are liking my video and it will push to other viewers. Let's get started. A store procedure is a prepared SQL code that can save. So code can be reused over and over again. So if you have SQL query that you write over and over again, save it to store procedure and then just call to execute it. We can reuse the SQL code or SQL code. And it ability to execute the same SQL statement multiple times. Encapsulation of complex and logic in the database and error. Improve application performance. Improve application security. Improve maintainability of the applications. And concurrency control and simplification of the applications. So if I want to change something, the logic, business logic, I can change directly from the store procedure inside the database. So the downtime will be very less. So in our previous session where we created this application, if I run this application, we created three API, get all product, where is writing a select from table name. And we have post product, which are, we are inserting and we have update product where we are updating the table. Right? If you remember. If you miss this session, I will give the link on i button as well as the video description. Please check it out. Also, after completion of this video session, I will give the source code link in the video description so you can download it. So now I have three API and I am using completely inline or code behind SQL statement. I want to encapsulate this one. I want to write a single API. I no need of this multiple API now. So how I can do this? Inside my store procedure, this is my TBL product, which TBL product I am using in my APIs. So let's write a store procedure for this table and do the operation. So how we can do? Let's create a new query and we can write like this. Create procedure. Let's say SP AED means R edit delete underscore TBL product. Okay. Here I am going to declare one variable which is a action and it will be int which determine what action need to be do. It will be insert, update, delete or select. Next is I am going to keep as it is my column name. But I know need of this entry date because entry date will be my system date. This product I will be int and it will be 100 and varkar. Right. Now I have to write age begin. Those who don't know store procedure, I strongly recommend you should go to my very old videos. I have to write like this if action equal to one, it will be insert like this. And my ID will be auto increment, so I will not no give the ID. So I have to just give my price and entry date will be system date. And for action equal to two, I have to update the TBL product set 
पी नेम इक्वल टू द वेरिएबल पी नेम एंड प्राइस इक्वल टू द वेरिएबल प्राइस हायर आईडी इक्वल टू आवर पोस्टिंग वेरिएबल आईडी and for option equal to 3 i can straight forward and delete my data from this table tbl product or id equal to id right and for option equal to okay at last i can straight forward select but i am giving else if action equal to 4 it will select the red one select star from tbl product order by one descending or i can directly give id descending right so this is i created a store procedure sp underscore aed i am giving the short term as r edit delete and click on execute okay it's got complete successfully now i am going to my API or my controller, I just need a one API now, and for now I'm keeping API whose name will be product, only product, nothing. And in the product model, I have added one model properties called action ID, which will be determining this particular action ID. According to this action ID, we can do insert, update, and delete or select. Okay, now. Let's delete this. I have added SQL connection, SQL command, and I am putting before try catch. Okay. Now I have to add run to my store procedure, which is our AED TBL product. So I have added. This is my store procedure name. Sim command equal new SQL command command. I'm just removing this one now. Okay. Command type is store procedure. Command dot parameter add with value action. I'm adding the action ID which is I have added here. And now ID will be product ID, product name, product price. Okay. But if action ID equal to four, then I have to return the value. So how I can do? So if obj dot action ID equal to equal to four. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it will return the object, or else it will return the data. So data, I am doing like this. Declare a product model list. Using the data table, I am. Hitting to the store procedure, I'm running the for loop and adding to the list and returning to the product model list. Now my single API, this API will handle insert, update, delete, and select statement. So I no need of this API in future. So what store procedure did to us? It help us to and to encapsulate our business logic inside our database part and. we can reuse this code in as every time and also in at, at the front end or the api section we we can remove so many codes now run the application and let's say in future there is a extension there is a modification came by client or anything okay i no need of order by id i need order by name so i no need to go to the application Can do the changes, do the publishing to the I stage testing everything. Single line, single word can change your single modification. Those modification which normally we can do in code base, it will take at least half an day or one day to stage dev dev stage and to prod. But this one it will take only one hour max to test everything. So store procedure is helpful here. so our application got run so we have newly created this api product let's click on try it out
so we have action id given as 4 which will return our record select data so let's give an 4 click on execute so you can see data is coming all the tables record now if i'm going to action id equal to 1 and i'm adding the product name as toothpaste and product price is 120 rupees and clicking on execute it is added now check with action id 4 again toothpaste is coming so id came here now if i go to the action id 2 which is update and if i put the id toothpaste to i to i'm now i am changing it to toothbrush and the price will be 150 and if i click on execute yeah toothbrush now if i check on this 4 yeah, it got changed 150. I want to delete. I can just put my action ID 3 and ID equal to this product ID. So I can give to execute. It got deleted. Now if I go to the action ID again, again 4, execute. Yeah, it got deleted. So in this way, we can use our store procedure to encapsulate and to change the business logic code behind inside our store procedure inside our database part. And also we can reduce so many line of code okay and it, it improve the database performance so guys this comes to end of this session if you like this session please give me a like and share me your comment and suggestion below thank you very much